All right, this is Panther and Summit, and I recently learned how to mod music in Street Fighter V. So I'm gonna try to give you a quick tutorial on how I do it. Now the modder based website is my source for all my mods. I normally go ahead for my character costume mods, but I recently been looking at their tools and tutorials, and I've noticed they had a really good one on how to mod music in the game. So I'm gonna show you the links. I normally use Fluffy Quack Mod Manager and I use the Pack Mod Manager as well. But for added music, I use Fluffy Quack. If you've never used Fluffy Quack before, I'm gonna give a quick tutorial, not even a tutorial, just show you how I actually do it in this video. This page is important as there's a direct list, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually do it. This is what I follow in order to actually start modern music in Street Fighter V. The tools they use is an app called Eternity Tool and they have a link for the character and stage themes that I will be modding. I downloaded them all and I recently, when well, I recently, last week, I went through a whole lot of the songs in the game that I don't like and changed them around to songs that I do like. For this one, I'm going to add a song that I been listening to for a couple of decades now, the Ken song. The audio editing program that I will use is Audacity. After you've downloaded the stage and character profiles, the themes, make sure to check the character code numbers, names, some of the numbers, some of the names for you need the correct ones in order to put them into the eternity tool. Audacity doesn't use song files, so make sure you have a converter on hand. Wave, WAV is what I normally use for Audacity since that's what it converts it to in order for it to be used in eternity tool. The song is always going to be loud when you place it into Audacity. You do not want to use a song with a high volume because then it will be too loud when you play the game. So you normally after you place the song in, you want to drop it down a little bit. I'm going to show you how I do it. audio design and I'm assuming that's decibels. I normally drop it between 7 and 3 depending on how low, how loud the song is, how low the song is. After you've done it a few times and place the song into the game, you get a good kind of idea of how low you want it. This song is pretty loud so I'm going to drop it around 10 to 11. But normally 7 and 3 is where I normally, I normally end around that number. It all depends on your song and how it is. Once that's done, you want to export the song. I normally put it into the same file where I keep my mods at. Remember to export it as a WAV file. Next step is if you've downloaded the character and stage sound themes, you now have to go to that file and open it. You should know the character codes. If you go to the correct place, the character codes will be there. This one is easy as can. Remember, in Eternity 2 in this file, open, go to where you got the character themes at, find the correct one you want to mod, and you want to place that inside Eternity 2. 
Once you've uploaded the correct stage or character theme into Eternity 2, you should see a list of six. You now want to replace each one manually, one at a time, with the song you should have edited in your audio tool. Yes to everything, and yes you want to loop. Once you've done that, then you save it. Congrats, you just modded the character's theme in the game. Now the next part is where the mod manager comes in because now you have to place the mod you just created into the game itself. Now in the folder for your mod manager, this part is more of like a trick or not even a trick, but the correct way it has to be. You notice that when you go to the character themes, the stage themes, the file is always in an exact pattern. Street Fighter, contact character, stuff like that, sound, and at the very end, you should see the character theme code and then actual file. It must be like that in the mod manager. If you do not put it in the mod manager that exact way, the mod will not work. Here I'll give you an example. The Cody theme is actually the turn the beat back from Street Fighter 4. I made that theme. But you see, I have it exactly the way it is when you actually download the character theme. You have to do the same thing for the mod you're going to create. I have a backup file that I use for stage and character themes. I simply put it into a new folder, and then I just change the very last one, which is the character theme. I'll show you how. Notice how I've deleted everything. I'm now gonna go back to the file with the character theme that I modded. I'm gonna put Ken, which is the character code, into the file I just made. So I made new folder Ken song. I have a backup folder, which is the exact format of how mod should be. And then I just put the new I modded into the final folder. It should look like this. So now once the mod is in the correct order that it needs to be in, I now go to Fluffy Quack Mod Manager. Make sure that you define the game with options. Define the game as Street Fighter. And after you do that, you should go to your mod list. You place this mod into the actual mod folder for Fluffy Quack. If you look up on my right box, you can see the order. Mod Manager, Game, Street Fighter 5, Mods. You can see right there where it should be at. Refresh the list, click on the song. I, you see Ken's song there now. I check it and now I'm ready to turn the game on. You should normally launch the game from Fluffy Quack, but I already got it done, so I'm just gonna go to my actual Steam, my actual game, and do it from my desktop. The Ken song is an old song. I've been listening to that song for a couple of decades. Some OC Remix. I got that when I was in high school. I'm about 33 now, but as you can see now, I should hear this when I turn the game on. Now I have way too much stuff in the background, plus I'm gonna record the game from the desktop. Normally, you're supposed to record the game by actually going to actual file with nothing in the background. So it should be a little bit slow, but the music should still work. Now I'm gonna fast forward through everything. No, my game does not load this fast. If anything, it's slower because I got too much going on in the background.
Moment of truth. This is all recorded in one shot. It should work now. Come on. Let's turn up the heat. This is the path of my destiny. Round one. Fight. Adolkin! down because of stuff I have in the background, but the music is working perfectly. Probably could have raised it up one decibel, but this is pretty good. I'm going to leave it like this. Have it. I showed you how to do it from beginning to end. You should now be able to mod your own stuff, put your own music in. Show me what you got if you do it. This is Fan 10 7. Peace out.